Hey everyone! Martial arts films are often underrated, seen just as an extension of action movies, but truth is, these films offer much more than just fights and brawls. They have a rich history dating back almost a century, with the first productions emerging in China. But why are some of these films seen as over the top while others are true cinematic masterpieces? I'll reveal fascinating details about this genre's evolution throughout the video. When we think of martial arts films, it's impossible not to recall Hong Kong's golden age of cinema. This era not only defined the genre, but also influenced filmmakers worldwide, including giants like Tarantino. But is Hong Kong cinema really the sole driver of this revolution, or did other countries also play a crucial role? Let's dive into part three of our list of the seven most classic martial arts films in cinema history. To kick things off, Drop a comment below with your top two martial arts movies. This is part three, and who knows, maybe we'll do a part four, right? Don't forget to check out the first two parts. Links are in the video description. Like and share this video on WhatsApp and Telegram to keep your friends in the loop deal. Thanks, now let's jump into the list. At number seven, The Last Dragon, 1985. It's a cult classic blending martial arts, Motown music, and 80s aesthetics in a unique way. The story follows a young martial artist who saves a DJ and must face an evil businessman and the Shogun of Harlem. Directed by Michael Schultz and starring Ty Mack in his acting debut, the film is known for its action scenes and charming characters. Produced by Motown founder Barry Gordy, the film boasts a memorable soundtrack that perfectly captures the era's spirit. Though not flawless, The Last Dragon remains a fun watch, enjoyed by kids of all ages decades after its release. Sixth Place, Warrior 2011, a film that dives into MMA but truly shines with its intense family drama driving the plot. The story follows two estranged Pittsburgh brothers who reunite while competing in an MMA tournament. Directed by Gavin O'Connor and starring Tom Hardy, Joe Egerton and Nick Nolte, the film offers a brutal look at the fights while providing a deeply emotional exploration of themes like family, redemption, and conflict. If you think that's impactful, brace yourself for what's coming next. Beyond Warrior's powerful drama, it shines with standout performances. Nick Nolte, as the protagonist's father, earned an Oscar nod for Best Supporting Actor. His performance makes it clear why. The film features real MMA fighters, adding authenticity to the impressive fight scenes. At number five, Enter the Dragon 1973 is a martial arts classic and one of Bruce Lee's most iconic films. The plot follows Lee, recruited to investigate a martial arts tournament organized by Han, a criminal using the event as a front for opium trafficking. What starts as an undercover mission quickly becomes a fight for survival, not just for Bruce Lee, but also for Roper and Williams, two Vietnam War vets with personal issues that led them to join the tournament. But what happens next will leave you even more intrigued. Beyond its gripping story, Enter the Dragon boasts iconic fight scenes and cultural significance, earning preservation in the National Film Registry in 2004. The film features genre favorite cameos by Jack Chan, Bill Yoon, and Sammo Jung, each in small yet memorable roles. This martial arts classic is one of Bruce Lee's greatest cinematic legacies, continuing to influence generations today. At number four, without hesitation, Fearless, 2006. Loosely based on Chinese martial artist Yuan Yunji's life, it captivates with stunning choreography and visually striking scenes. The story follows Wu, a fighter challenging foreign opponents in public matches during the Qing Dynasty. Despite some historical inaccuracies, these flaws hardly diminish the film's overall beauty. 
But what's most striking is what was left out of the original theatrical release. Curious to learn more. Directed by Han Yu and starring Jet Li, Fearless had many scenes cut for its cinema release, but the director's cut in 2008 added key scenes, including an opening with Michelle Yan explaining wushu and a fight with a Thai fighter played by Olympic boxer Song Lug Kenzing. Despite controversies and lawsuits from WU's descendants, the film remains a martial arts milestone, highlighting combat philosophy and redemption. Third place, the Raid 2, 2014. The sequel continues right where the first film ended, but with an unexpected twist. Following the events of the first film where a SWAT team faced drug dealers in a building, this sequel dives into a richer, more complex story. If you thought the first movie was intense, just wait for what's coming. Channeling Scorsese and Tarantino, this film elevates action, blending police drama with jaw-dropping martial arts. Unlike the first non-stop action in one spot, Raid 2 expands with new characters, deeper plot, and even more intense action. Action. Twice as long and more cinematic, this sequel matches and often surpasses the original. Direction, cinematography, and score are flawless, creating a gripping visual and emotional ride. If you love action and can handle brutal scenes, this is a must-see film. Second place, Kill Bill, Volume 1, 2003, a Quentin Tarantino masterpiece that blends martial arts styles, creating a unique cinematic experience. The film follows the bride, played by Uma Thurman, on her relentless quest for revenge against assassins who left her for dead. Think you've seen revenge flicks? This one will surprise you at every turn, especially in its fight scenes. Directed by Tarantino, Kill Bill, Vol. One draws from classics like Lady Snowblood, 1973, mixing Kung Fu, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Japanese Kenjutsu, and fencing. Besides Uma Thurman, the film boasts a stellar cast including Lucy Liu, Michael Madsen, Daryl Hannah, Vivica A. Fox, and David Carradine. One of the most iconic scenes is the showdown with the Crazy 88, which has become a cinematic legend. Thurman's portrayal of the bride was so iconic it earned her a Golden Globe nomination for Best Actress. If you love martial arts and action flicks, this is a must-see title. First place. Fist of Fury, also known as The Chinese Connection, 1972. Fist of Fury, a.k.a. The Invincible or Chinese Connection, is Bruce Lee's iconic martial arts masterpiece. The plot follows Chen Zhen, a fighter returning to his school after his master's sudden death. Chen, suspicious of foul play, decides to investigate the death on his own. He embarks on a quest for vengeance and justice, facing rivals who disrespect the Chinese. The film showcases how Bruce Lee used cinema to address social and cultural issues. In the story, the Chinese-Japanese rivalry is explored, reflecting historical tensions between the two peoples. Shen Zhen's struggle to defend the honor of his master and school features innovative action scenes for the time, with choreography blending fighting styles and bold camera angles like the use of Dutch angles. These choices and Lee's visceral performance set the standard for martial arts films in the following decades. Beyond its cultural impact, Enter the Dragon also influenced the aesthetics and narrative of action films worldwide. The fluidity of fight scenes and use of stuntmen like Jackie Chan, then starting his career, built the genre's mythology. Despite technical limits, the film transcended its era, inspiring sequels and adaptations, cementing Bruce Lee as a martial arts icon. If you enjoyed the video, like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to list your top two martial arts films in the comments. They're now on your screen and notifications for upcoming videos are worth checking out. See you in the next video. Bye for now.